இப்போ அனாலிட்டிக் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஸோ இந்த யூனிட்டில் வந்து அனாலிட்டிக் ஃபங்க்ஷனை பற்றி படிக்க போகிறோம் இப்போ அவங்க முன்னாடியே நான் படிச்சிருக்கோம் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் நம்பர் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் நம்பர்னா என்ன காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் நம்பர் இஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபார்ம் ஏ ப்ளஸ் ஏபி இல்லையா இந்த யூனிட் பை தஸ் சிம்பிள் இசட் இசட் ஈக்குவல் ஏ ப்ளஸ் ஐபி இப்போ ஏங்கிறது ரியல் பார்ட் பிங்கிறது இமேஜரி பார்ட் இல்லையா இப்போ இது காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் நம்பர் நமக்கு தெரியும் இப்போ காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் வேல்யூட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் அப்படின்னா சப்போஸ் எஃப் ஆஃப் இசட் ஈக்குவல் இசட் ஸ்கொயர் ஐ கண்ட் டேக் இட் ஆஸ் இஸ் டபிள்யூ ஸோ புட் இசட் ஈக்குவல் எக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஐவை So you may get, so W equal x plus i y the whole square. So you may get x square minus y square plus i into 2x minus. What could a function value in a down? Or a complex number. Or input on the complex number could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Complex number. So what do you say? A complex value function. So this is z and w are what? A complex variables. So this x and y are what? They are real variable. If you x and y are real variables and z is a complex variable and w equal to f of z is a complex valued function. The single valued function, suppose if you get now z equal to x plus i y, you may get only one output x square minus y square plus i into 2x y. So this type of functions are called a single valued function. function so the multi valued function apd irukum suppose f of z equal so root of 1 by z root of z for root z part you may get two values lya so that is a multi valued function right okay next enna na uh, continuity of f of z so continuity of f of z na na a function a single valued function f of z is a continuous at Z equal to Z naught, then limit Z tends to Z naught of F of Z equal to F of Z naught. And then the function is continuous at Z equal to Z naught, right? So, derivative of F of Z. So, derivative of F of Z naught, right? Nah? So, derivative of F of Z. the function f of z is differentiable at z not then so limit delta z tends to zero so f of z not plus delta z minus f of z not by delta z then we say that what the function is this limit value exists then the function f of z is differentiable at z equal to z not right Suppose a function f of z is a differentiable at each and every point in a region R, then we say that the function is differentiable at this, in this region R, right? This is the basic concept of the complex number, a complex valued function, a single valued function, multi-valued function, the continuous of the function f of z at a point, and the derivative of a function f of z at a point, right? Now we go for an analytic function. When we say that a function f of z is analytic, a function f of z is said to be analytic or a regular function. So, let me know that. Or any of the analytic function all over the regular function all over the, right? A function f of z is said to be analytic if a function f of z is said to be analytic at a point is at not. இந்த பாயிண்ட்ல அனலிட்டிக்கா இல்லையா அப்படின்னா ஃபங்க்ஷன் எஃப் ஆஃப் விசிட் இஸ் டிஃபரன்சியபிள் அட் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ சம் நைபர்ஹுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் இப்போ ஒரு ஃபங்க்ஷன் எஃப் ஆஃப் விசிட் இருக்கு ஒரு ரீஜன் ஆர்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் இந்த ரீஜன் ஆர்ல ஒரு பாயிண்ட் எடுத்திருக்கேன் ஸோ இந்த பாயிண்ட் வந்து என்னது இஸ் எட் நான் ஸோ இந்த பாயிண்ட்ல இந்த ஃபங்க்ஷன் வந்து டிஃபரன்சியபிளா இருக்கணும் அதுக்கப்புறம் இட் இஸ் டிஃபரன்சியபிள் அட் ஆல் சம் நைபர்ஹுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் நைபர்ஹுட் அப்படின்னா அந்த பாயிண்ட் சுத்தி ஒரு ஸ்மால் சர்க்கிள் ட்ரா பண்ண அப்படின்னா அந்த பாயிண்ட்ல இருக்கிற சர்க்கிள் அந்த நைபர்ஹுட் இருக்கிற ஒவ்வொரு பாயிண்ட்ல என்னவா இருக்கணும் இட் இஸ் டிஃபரன்சியபிள் தென் வி சேட் த ஃபங்க்ஷன் எஃப் ஆஃப் இட் இஸ் டிஃபரன்சியபிள் அனாலிட்டிக் அட் த பாயிண்ட் 
So suppose the function f of z is analytic at each and every point inside R, then we say that the function is analytic at in the region R, right? So that is the definition of analytic function. <laughs> Next one, uh, cause is a Riemann equation or sometimes called uh, CR equation, right? Cause is Riemann equation or CR equation or necessary condition. Necessary condition is the function is analytic. If the function f of z u plus i v is analytic in a region R of the z plane, then the derivatives u x u y, v x and v y exist, and u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x at every point in that region. So this equation u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x is called one CR equations. I have to derive this uh, result, right? How we can derive this necessary condition? Then we ask to derive necessary condition that a function f of z is analytic in the region R, right? So f of z equal to u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y is analytic in R. That means what is analytic in R, right? Analytic in R. The function is differentiable at each and every point in that region, right? So that means our derivative exists, right? So f dash of z exists. Okay. What is definition? F dash of z equal. Right. So limit delta z tends to zero. F of z plus delta z minus f of z by delta z. So this is the definition. On the derivative of the function f of z, right? Take it as equation number one. Right, okay. So delta z equal to one. So z equal to x plus i y. What is delta x? Delta is it? So delta x plus i into delta y, right? So f of z equal to u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y. So f of y z plus delta z equal to one. This is nothing but u of x plus delta x, comma y plus delta y, plus i into u of x plus delta x, comma y plus delta y. You can substitute in one. So f dash of z equals so limit. Uh, so delta x z tends to zero, which is nothing but one. Either delta x tends to zero and delta y tends to zero. Yeah, delta z tends to zero. No, it is zero. Delta x tends to zero and delta y tends to zero. So delta x tends to zero, delta y tends to zero. All right. So this is nothing but one. So u of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y. Then uh, minus uh, this function. So number one, go minus u of x comma y. Then plus v of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y minus v of x comma y. Why were ma plus i into? Yeah. Okay. Divided by delta z. Delta z. What is that? Delta x plus i into delta y. So this is equation number two. So delta is a tends to zero. It's nothing but delta x tends to zero or delta y tends to zero. It's, it's nothing but once there are two cases. Suppose uh, delta x tends to zero first, and then delta y tends to zero. The end is like this. First delta x tends to zero. Agree. After that, from delta y tends to zero. Now, which is it? Now, so suppose delta x tends to zero first, and then delta y. Now I'll we'll get. So f dash of z equal first delta x tends to zero. Then I know so limit delta y tends to zero. Delta x tends to zero. Then I know what is u of x comma y plus delta y minus u of x comma y by i into delta y plus i into this will be equal. Limit delta y tends to zero. V of x comma 
This is your right, see? Y plus delta Y minus V of X comma Y by I into delta Y. Right? I'll do the definition of this. This is nothing but what? So 1 by I into dou U by dou Y. Right? So this I A get cancelled. So plus this is nothing but what? Dou V by dou Y. I can write this as dou V by dou Y. 1 by I is nothing but minus I. Minus dou U by dou Y. You call it as this of dash of Z, right? So this is 1. This result is suppose delta x tends to 0 first and then delta y tends to 0. Now you can opposite. First you delta y tends to 0 and then delta x tends to 0. First delta y tends to 0. First delta y tends to 0. So f plus of z equal so limit delta x tends to 0. But delta y 0 is u of x plus delta x comma y minus u of x comma y by delta y 0 na delta x irko. plus i into limit delta x is 0 so here v of x plus delta x comma y minus v of x comma y by delta x now what will be the definition is dou u by dou x plus i into is dou v by dou x, right? So this from 2. This also f dash of z. So since f dash of z is unique, so from 1 and 2, the left hand sides are equal. But therefore, right hand sides are equal. But dou u by dou x plus i into dou v by dou x equal to dou v by dou y minus i into dou u by dou y. So both are uh, complex numbers. Equate real part and imaginary part. So I'll get equating real and imaginary part. So dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y. And dou v by dou x equal to minus dou u by dou y. So which is called what? So these two equations are called CR equation. So that is a derivation of CR equation or sometimes they must have derived the necessary condition that f of z is analytic in R. That means you have to verify, derive that the CR equation is in, in short notation you can write like this. Ux equal to Vy and Uy equal to minus Vx. So which is a CR equations, right? Next one, uh, sufficient condition. One is another part, necessary condition part. In the sufficient condition, a single valid function f of z equal to u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y is analytic in a region R if the four derivatives u x, u y, v x and v y are exist, and these derivatives are continuous, and also it satisfies C R equation. C R equation is u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x. Whenever these three conditions are satisfied, we can say that the function f of z is analytic in region R. Right? right. So, C R equations in uh, polar coordinates. The function f of z equal to u of r comma theta plus i into v of r comma theta. Point on the u of x comma y and v of x comma y in power, that is a Cartesian coordinate. Since of x and y, they may given r and theta, u of r comma theta plus i into v of r comma theta. The derivative is dou u by dou r, dou u by dou theta, dou v by dou r and dou v by dou theta are exist. And this uh, is a CR equation in polar coordinates. Dou u by dou r equal to 1 by r into dou v by dou theta. Then dou v by dou r equal to minus 1 by r into dou u by dou theta. So these two equations are the CR equations in polar coordinates. Right. So prove that the following functions are analytic. Right. I have to prove that these functions are analytic. First you take, so let a f of z equal e power minus z. Right. So I take it as a, this f of z equal to u plus i v and uh, z equal to x plus i y. 
you put u plus is that equal to u plus iv is that equal to x plus iy so make it u plus iv equal to e power minus x plus iy so this is nothing but mod u plus iv equal to e power minus x e power minus iy this is nothing but mod e power minus x into this is cos y minus i into sin y yeah, e power i theta cos theta plus i sin theta here minus so cos a minus i sin y equate it to real and imaginary part so u equal e power minus x cos y and v equal minus e power minus x sin y find out the four the positive derivatives so do u by do x Now, minus e power minus x cos y. Then do u by do y minus e power minus x sin y. Then do v by do x. No, e power minus x sin y. Then do v by do y. No, no, minus e power minus x cos y. So now these two are equal, right? That means one do u by do x equal to do v by do y, and compare these two do u by do y equal to minus. You got a value on this do v by do x. Lea. Yeah. So do u by do x equal to do v by do y, and do u by do y equal to minus do v by do x. So it satisfies your equation. And all the possible derivative are exist at each and every point, and then uh, the derivatives, exponential function and trigonometry functions are always continuous. Therefore, the product of the continuous function is also continuous. Therefore, the for the four possible derivatives are all continuous. Therefore, the possible derivative exists and also continuous. Satisfies your equations. Therefore, the function f of z equal to e power minus z is Analytic, right? Okay, the next one. So let f of z equal to sine z. Now we put f of z is u plus i v, and z is x plus i y. We expand it. Sine a plus b. So sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So sin x into cos i y is nothing but what cos h y plus cos x sin i y is nothing but what i sin h y, right? Therefore u equal to sin x cos h y and v equal to cos x sin h y, right? That is the real and imaginary part. So find out the derivatives. So u equal to sin x cos h y. What is do u by do x? No, no. Sin x differentiate point na cos x cos h y. Then do u by do y differentiate with respect to y. So sin x into sin h y. Right? Then v equal to cos x. Sin h y. So do v by do x. So minus sin x. Sin h y. Then do v by do y. Equal to cos x. Cos h y. So therefore, so these two are equal. Do u by do x equal to do v by do y. And do u by do y equal to Minus do v by do x, right? So therefore, here also all the four possible derivatives are exist, and the these are the trigonometric functions so always continuous, and it satisfies your equations. Therefore, f of z equal to sine is then is analytic. Right? So show that analytic function with a constant real part is. Constant 
and constant modulus is a constant. So suppose f of z equals u plus i v is analytic. Right? In the function of the constant is the real part of the constant are composed. Whenever u is constant, then we can say that the function f of z is constant. That means the function constant is this u and v are constant. So u one already constant now. We are So v one the constant is solved. V one the constant is solved. Now there is no x or y or no number. We have solved it. Now I am V is constant. We have done Right? Okay. So since f of z is analytic, so it satisfies the R equation. Now the u x equal v y and u y equal minus v x. So this is the R equation. Right? So given u is constant, u and the constant uh, do u by do that is u x u x is greater than this do u by do x. So u x equal to constant differentiate panna zero. Then u y differentiate with respect to y. Adu mana da zero, right? So from this equation. So u x equal to zero implies u x on the zero in another v y zero. So v y is zero. So v is an independent of y. So v la on the y in the term illa na naero. Kandi pa v y on the naero ruko zero wa dero ko. So, Vy equal to 0 is nothing but 1, V is an independent of Y. Then second one, Uy equal to 0 implies Uy 0 and another minus Vx equal to 0, so Vx equal to 0. So, Vx 0 be na, V is an independent of X and V will on the X will on and on. Zero. But we learn the y will not x will not. Both v is an independent of x and y. That means one v is constant, right? So in this f of z, u is constant and v is constant. Therefore, f of z is constant, right? So that means one an analytic function with constant real part is constant. Clear? Or analytic function like Real part on the constant are na the function are ko constant are ko. Adi amari exam ko homework kare chhika. An analytic function with constant imaginary part is also constant. Analytic function na in the part on the constant are na lo ena solla. We can say that the function is constant. Abhi solla. Second one la. So modulus of f of z equal to root of u square plus v square. So this is constant. So given modulus of f of z is constant. So that means one, so u square plus v square equal to some constant, right? The differentiate with respect to x, I'll get partially. So 2u ux plus 2v vx equal to 0. So u ux equal minus v vx. So u by x, ux by vx equal to minus v by u. Take it as equation number one. Right? So differentiate this two. Sorry, this one is there. So we take it as capital one. So this two. So differentiate two partially with respect to y. What will get? Two u u y plus two v v y equal to zero. So u u y equal to minus v v y. So u by v equal here also you find out u by so that is an easier graph. So u by v equal minus v x by u x. Take it as one. Now here u by v equal minus v y by u y. Right? Now apply this result in second with this result. 
So u by v is equal to this vy. Vy is nothing but what? ux. So minus ux by then this ui. Ui is nothing but minus vx. Right? So therefore u by v equal to ux by vx. You take it as this is 2. So from 1 and 2, so minus ux by vx equal minus vx by ux. Cross multiplying, so ux squared equal to minus vx squared. So ux squared plus vx squared equal to 0, right? So which implies 1? ux is 0 and vx is 0, right? So ux equal to 0 implies u is an independent of x. So by CR equation, ux equal to vy. So which implies v is an independent of y. And similarly, then vx equal to 0 implies v is an independent of x. And by CR equation, vx equal to minus uy, so uy equal to 0, which implies u is an independent of y. Then another case, u is an independent of x and u is an independent of y. Therefore, u is constant, right? And v is an independent of y and v is an independent of x. So therefore, v is constant. So if both u and v are constant, then f of z equal to u plus iv is constant. Right?